Rudolph Malcolm Walker was born September 1939 in San Juan, Trinidad and Tobago. The acting bug was something he caught very early, appearing in school plays at eight years old. Wanting to pursue acting, he joined Derek Walcott's Trinidad Theatre Workshop, becoming the workshop's youngest member. In 1960, wanting to further his acting career and education, Rudolph had planned to immigrate to the USA. A contemporary, Errol John, who had moved to Britain, persuaded him to try England as the acting training was considered superior. Prominently known for his role in television, Rudolph's first role on television was the Wednesday play in a play called Fable in 1965. He would work steadily throughout the late 60s, appearing in many long forgotten shows. He made appearance in a few well-known shows in the 60s also, appearing on The Champions, On the Buses and Doctor Who. Though mostly a television actor, Rudolph appeared in films, his first film role being a small one in The Witches in 1966, a John Fertain vehicle. In the 70s, Rudolph would continue to work in both film and television. He appeared in the Richard Attenborough starer, Ten Relington Place, and alongside the unfairly maligned one-time Bond actor, George Lazenby in Universal Soldier. In 1972, Rudolph would get the role that would forever make him a part of British television history. He would play Bill Reynolds in Love Thy Neighbour, a sitcom that tackled race relations in Britain through humour. The series ran for eight seasons of 54 episodes, and helped make Rudolph a household name. He would then appear in the short-lived prominently black cast show The Fosters. The Fosters were based on the successful African-American sitcom Good Times. The show starred a who's who of black talent, with Norman Beaton, Carmen Monroe and a young Lenny Henry all part of the cast. Rudolph would appear in another Norman Beaton starer in 1978, the short-lived Empire Road. Empire Road was another attempt to put a mostly black cast show on British screens. Being more of a drama than the usual comic fare Beaton had been cast in, the show lasted a mere 15 episodes. Rudolph appeared in five of these episodes. Moving into the 80s, Rudolph remained a mainstay on British screens, appearing in a whole slew of shows and some films. He would pop up in Lenny Henry's show, Mr Bean and many more. Throughout the 90s, he would continue his career, appearing in The Bill as well as Let Him Have It, the comedy King Ralph, and he also would be part of the core cast of Ben Elton's police comedy, The Thin Blue Line. As the new millennium began, Rudolph would once again find himself involved in another briefly shown black cast show, The Crouches. A sitcom mixed with a little drama, the show only lasted 12 episodes. In 2001, Rudolph would take on his most famous role in the long-running soap opera, EastEnders. Rudolph would take the role of Patrick Truman. In the two decades he spent on the show, Rudolph has been at the centre of many dramatic storylines and still remains a regular cast member to this day. Though thought as a television and film actor, Rudolph has appeared in 40 stage productions, he has played Othello on multiple occasions and has trodden the boards on most of the best known stages in England. Rudolph Walker continues to work prolifically in his sixth decade in the film and television industry and also continued to support up-and-coming artists through his foundation, the Rudolph Walker Foundation, which he launched a decade ago to help disadvantaged youths who have a passion for the arts. Rudolph Walker is a national treasure who continues to entertain and inspire in equal measure. Mm -hmm.